So we, we welcome to our first tutorial. In this video, we will be learning the basic layout for the C++. In this video, we will be using Windows 32 application and .ppp. So let's get started. So we have a file, name, project, and then you want to click on Windows Console Application. You can go ahead and name the same thing you want, and then name it tutorial one. Click next. Make sure you click empty project. Finish. Alright, now that we got the project open, you're probably thinking, what the hell? Why am I getting it? First, you gotta go over to source files, add new item, go over to CPP, and you type in another thing you think you want. I'm gonna type in base.cpp. Alright, now that you're right here, you see nothing and you're probably thinking it's wrong, so what I type. Well, first we gotta set up the whole layout of what we, you're gonna do. Of course, we're gonna need include iOS iOS screen. What that does is it, it, I then Command. Basically, what the send command does is if you ever use man prompt, which command prompt, you see stuff like at echo, echo, raw, and then you want to follow the So that's what it would happen. At echo, off, and then you have echo. That's what send is basically echo. That's how I remember it. So then after we do the IO stream, IO stream includes the string, but we're going to go ahead and add it to the same video. Okay, so we're, we include the string also. And we're going to want to identify the STD, so you don't have to type in, every time you type in sing, you don't have to go STD sing. That's a long way to, but either way works. What we're gonna do using base STD, and what that does is it replaces where you want me to do STD sin every time. You can just type in, you can type in sin, and then you just do that. Oh wait, no, no, you type in that. So that's Alright, so now what we want to do is go ahead and add in the, the string test name, which is, test name is going to be, what we're building right here is going to be something that's asking for your name. Then you're going to like type in your name, it's going to return the variable as hello, blah, 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 your name. So we're going to have to add a string for your name so whenever you type it in. So whenever you type it in, it's going to be a variable, so we're going to type in string test name. You can type in anything, string your name. And notice how I have this semicolon. Remember that. You need that. That's at the end of every command you need it. Let's get the semicolon with the, with the tail of the line. Alright, and then we need to add in the big daddy player. And without this, nothing will work. You need this for every layout of it. So you need int main and then you need parentheses for out for arguments. And then I don't know if this is called, but you need that tail looking parentheses. And then I'll always leave enter. You don't have to hit enter, you can always type it in right there. I like to do it right there. And type in calc. What calc does is basically, it, I remember it's shout. Hold on, shout. It's a capitalization matter. Name. Again. And then you want to go ahead and end the line. You, you can do this two ways, but I'm only going to show you this way. End L. Remember, that's not a one, that's an L, lowercase L. 
Then we're going to like add something so that the user knows to type something. And there we go. We're going to go to enter, save, press add in our table. And then you can either get another space, the number of space, and it doesn't matter, you can space it out as many times as you want. So I'm going to add another space for the sake of this. And then sin, and then s name. Okay. What this does right here is this sin, it's gonna it's gonna give you back the value, it's gonna echo out the s name. So whatever you type in for your name right here, like um, user type their name. Oh, that. All right, what that does, it's gonna ask, it's gonna ask you, the program's gonna shout to you, what is your name again? And then it's gonna end a line, and then at that line, it's gonna have this, and then you're gonna type in whatever the value is, which would be your name. Like, you can do it another way by typing string, blah, 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 like, my name, and then right here, your name would be my name, and then it would say that automatically for the user. I should show you that, but that's the way you do it. Alright, so you're, you're going to understand all this afterwards. How? I'm not sure what you do. Hello. Turn zero does it ends the code argument. Remember that. Okay. So you need that. Okay. So basically, you have this is the whole layout of it. You have the int name, and then the, the way to end the int is with the, another tail. Before that, you need to return zero so the program will close. You can also pause it, but we're going to do return zero. So let's go ahead and project uh, build. Solution. And then notice how there's going to be no errors on here. If you're having an error, go back and check the code. I'll post it in the, the description. Still loading. Alright, there we go. Alright, now we're going to start debug. Alright, and this is our project, what is your name again? What it did is it went over here, it, it included the IO string, which is identifying the sin command, so without this, sin wouldn't work. So it wouldn't be able to use the string name value. This is, you could use IO string, which is including the string. You don't really need this, so it didn't really use this, but it still identifies the same thing. We put that in there for the sake of the video, and you know that this also identifies the same thing again. Using namespace std, what it did is it allowed, it allowed us to use the sin with the arrow instead of typing in std colon colon sin every time. So we wouldn't have to type in sin colon colon, um, no, no, std colon colon sin s name. Get it? Not really right. All right, and then it went to string name, which is the string s name, which is our variable, which we're about to type. This is our variable, and we use Richard. That's our variable. And then after that, it's going to go to hello s name. I'll, I, I made a typo, so I'll try to remember that. So let's go ahead and type that in. Uh, it went, but it still said it, hello, let's try to remember. Then after that, it ended a line. End line is basically it skips the line down. It doesn't skip the code, it just makes a line on the, on the, the application. Alright, 
that's the royal one, the name of the royal gift. 